So last episode, you guys know, we found this English wonder kid, Sanderson, in the free agents. He's 90 overall, he has 94 pace, 91 shooting, but more specifically, 95 finishing. This guy looks very, very good. However, he's played six games and only scored one goal. That was in simulation, and when we played with him, oh boy, did he bottle it. He's the best football player in the world. Going into January, we have 64 million to spend, 160k in the wage budget, so we still have money remaining. And get in the comments let me know who we should sign. We can sign two players. Hopefully, we don't have to go in and buy another striker because he should work out. He has the seasonal objective anyway to get 10 goals by January. And we lost our first game in the Champions League to Barcelona 4-1. We played it and lost 4-1. That, of course, is when it actually let us play the game because we're in the third season. And apparently, there's a bug with the Champions League because EA think they've been all smart and fixing world peace by removing teams because they're from a certain country. So I don't know what we're going to do with future Champions League games. Hopefully we actually get out the group. I guess we'll find out. Leave the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe, turn the bell on, and let's get into it. Player of the episode for last episode goes to Marco Asensio. Disappointing results, but this guy always seems to deliver. We have scouts pointing out that the English regen might be Jamie Vardy's regen. Because I asked you guys, who could it be? We're only in the third season, so we're not 12 seasons in. It can't be Harry Kane. I bet he's still playing. Yeah, he's still playing Jamie Jamie Vardy. Someone said Daniel Sturridge. And he actually has retired. I can't believe his 32 IRL. We also changed some kit numbers last episode. And some of you guys, well, a lot of you guys are not very happy that we took the number 11 off Zaha. At number 7's a better number. I said that number 7's like a left winger and a right winger's more of an 11. But you guys weren't happy with that as well. So Marco Asensio is going to be the, uh, the number 7. And number 11 will go back to Zaha. Omar is saying the Champions League in the first season is glitch. A group stage game cannot be played, so you have to sim past it, guessing in the calendar, because if you sim it, actually going on the game, it will make you forfeit it 3-0, or the other team will forfeit 3-0. I don't know how we're going to make it out the group stage, because some of you guys have put complete different things. I'm just going to go with this comment and go ahead with it. It does say in the calendar we got a 4-1 loss, and we did, so it doesn't say 3-0, so perhaps if we actually play the games, the result sticks. I don't know. And we have a politely formed, non-sarcastic comment from this guy saying, you know that Kakure isn't actually right-footed. I don't know why you keep saying he has a good left foot. Well, anyone who watched like four episodes ago, this guy from corners, when you're passing the ball at your, at your box, only uses his left foot and his shots are great. I don't know how he hasn't scored yet. He's got a five-star weak foot, so that would make sense, but he, he is right-footed. Didn't know that. And again, another politely non-sarcastic uh, comment from this guy. Obviously not going to read it aloud, but there seems to be a lot of 12-year-olds in the comments. And editing last episode, I realized that I actually completely forgot about the episode objective. I said it, and then just forgot about it. I seem to be doing that quite a lot recently. It was to score a hat-trick with Asensio. Forfeit, he cannot play two games this episode. Yes, basically our only good player this season. And today's episode objective comes from the GOAT, Josh, quite literally, saying episode objective, get a win in the first game of this episode. Forfeit, the win Will must decide which summer signing cannot play next episode. I like that suggestion. That is a good episode objective. If you guys want your episode objective to make it, then go for ideas which are good like that. Despite us not having amazing form this season, we do find ourselves fourth spot, only three points away from top of the league. First game is 12th Leicester City. Big G is slightly tired, but Anderson is even more tired. In fact, a third choice center back is probably what we need to go in for in January. We are going to in this we'll quick sim it away from home and it is a 3-2 win Zaha De La Vega and uh, Zaha you're probably wondering you played Asensio he cannot play in two games which we actually play here's the Champions League game I saw a comment mentioning going to the press conference and it will sort it out so we'll try that it lets us click on the game I mean that's positive. Not going to rotate because we did get smashed in our first game and we could really do with a win here. Going to attempt a quick sim it and it's a 2-1 win. Sanderson scoring, Asensio. Oh, great. Okay, okay, so so that happens. The opponent didn't have enough play, so we get a 3-0 win. Just a 2-1 win. Okay, the result counted. The goal scorers will still go ahead with Sanderson and Asensio, I'm guessing. We have 20th in the league, Brentford now, and uh, I guess we could rotate someone in this game. 
we'll get Mariba coming in for Nunes. We'll, we'll do that. We're at home. We should get the three points. Quick sim. It's a 3-1 win. Sanderson with a brace and SA. There we go. Hopefully, he's getting started now. He's warming up. First game we're playing and the game we have to win, episode objective, and the game I sent to who cannot play, the first one, is Liverpool. But we get to play D. Pedro D. La Vega. He's right footed, so it's actually more off a left winger. Because he's that, for this game, we'll tell him not to cut inside and just stay out wide. On the other hand, we'll do the opposite with Zaha. We should probably do that anyway. We might be able to make more out of him. But it's Anfield. It's away. This is a tough game, and we've got to win it. The last time we played at Anfield in the league last season, we actually beat them. We, we hammered them 5-1, I believe. I don't think we're going to score that many today, especially with the form we're in. But you never know. Sanderson might be raring to go. We've kept the ball well. Eze on his left. Going to hit one. Oh, that's an early goal. That's 1-0 Crystal Palace. Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe. Four more. That is the question. Poor defending. They're awful. They've just got Eze stood there in that position. Poor clearance. Straight to his feet. And that is a great goal to concede. If it wasn't for the blue, we'd be absolutely mess right now of the kids. Oh, his mana in the box. is not up Bayern. Oh, good bit of play. Nunes get the ball out. That's a big ball. Out wide, Mo Salah. We're only 14 minutes in. Fabina, oh, that's some great play. Oh, well done, Mitchell. That was even better. Salah in the box. Nunes, big opportunity and a big tackle. Liverpool are going hard right now, trying to get that equaliser. Here comes Zaha on the left-hand side. We're not going to win that speed battle right there. Nunes back up to Zaha. Now Mitchell is playing well so far. Try and put a good cross in the box to Sanderson. Keepers all over that one. He's now Bikeda. Slips that to Nunes. What's he doing? He could have hit that. Good job he didn't. It's Mane. Now Nunes, they'll back hill. We are defending really, really well. I'm not going to mention the word where you don't, you know, ball goes back in net. Yeah, we're not going to be silly. We're not going to mention that word. We're fine. That's a big ball out wide in behind to Zaha. And uh, Trent does well there. Here's De La Vega. I don't think he's touched the ball yet. He's coming forward. Nice counter attack. Pedro Porro's making a good run. We're going to go to him. Can he take the touch? Eze in the box. What can he do? La Vega with the header. Eze, good opportunity. Here is the new striker. Oh, saved by the keeper. I'd say he should have scored it, but, you know, that was just awkward. He, he could have got to the ball a whole lot quicker before he actually took a shot, but the game didn't let me. Oh, no, that, that's bad by the keeper. Nunez, Mohamed Salah. We, that, this is the first mistake of the game. Oh, no, okay, they're not going to capitalize off it. Oh, are we going to capitalize off them losing the ball? The, you, your striker, 95 finishing, has to be scoring this. Yes, there we go. He has to be scoring a one-on-one -on -one like that. You can Cannot be messing that up with a 90 overall, 95 finishing. He's got 99 acceleration or whatever. This guy's class. And that's a very good finish. But is he that much better than Edouard? We're going to have to find out. But that is a finish. We've got a 2-0 lead now. And we still need to be careful. D dangerous stuff here. Dangerous stuff. Get the ball up. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look, we're on a counterattack just from that. De La Vega, keep the ball. Try and keep it. We've got Nunes in a bit of space here. Play it to the feet of oh, Sanderson. Now to Sanderson. Out wide to Mitchell. Look at that run in the box. What a bit of play. Yes. No. That would have been so good. Here's Diaz for Liverpool. About 20 minutes to play. And there's the goal back. Drilled it. Low on the ground in the box. And Fabino comes into the box and hammers that back in the net. They've got 18 minutes around there to play. And they've got to go back. Diaz gets the better. Uh, whoever number two is, I'm guessing that's Pedro Porto, and he's absolutely hammered that. It's just not what we want to be doing. I mean, it's a great cross, but someone needs to be picking him up. Right, Liverpool actually have a corner here. We're approaching the last 10 minutes of the game, and uh, Anfield are up, ready for this one. Whipped in. Oh, Fabinho again, I'm pretty sure, over the bar. We need to be careful here. Okay, that's a good tackle. Here's De La Vega coming forward. Got options. Got Zaha out wide. Oh, Sanderson's got in the way. He can get a big ball out wide, though, to Pedro Porto. This is good. Still Pedro Porto. Drills it in the box. Van Dijk's there. That used to work. They made a patch of something, and it just doesn't work anymore. I know it wasn't the best time to get it, but it just always gets blocked at the moment. You're kidding me. Offside, please. No, you're joking. It's two all laid on. We've got a point. Anfield goes crazy. Get your muzzles on. They're going crazy. They're all going at her clop as well. You're kidding me. Wow. That is not a goal you want to concede. 
awful. The new number nine, or new number 16, new striker for Liverpool, scoring the equaliser. I did say in the press conference last episode, we'd play more Champions League games. Of course, we simmed the last one because it was young boys, but we have Club Brugge here and they are better. A game, to be fair, we'd actually normally sim, but I said we'd play more in the Champions League, so we will play this. But the question is, will it let us? It, will the result be continued or actually count if we play it? I guess we're going to have to just find out. We are going to take out Asensio. We're going to put De La Vega in there. To be fair, I, I liked Zaha on the right-hand side when we did that. So, so we're going to do this. We're going to try De La Vega on the left, Zaha on the right, because, again, when we played him there last, he was good. And you guys can be assured, if you're seeing this game, then uh, the result did count, because it's not going in if it's just not going to count. We lost the first one. We won our last game. We want to be getting three points here. If we go out the group stage, that's not good. You guys know. I'm not very good in the Champions League. We've, uh, we've well, I've kind of made that clear in uh, the career modes we've done. I kind of bottle it. I'm like the living Manchester City. Is Nunes to the feet of Ezzing. Back to Nunes. Oh, they're kind of parking the bus, you know, rightly so, with the side they've got. It's the only way they're going to stop us. We're going to have to break this down. It's a bit like playing as Ajax in the air of Z, this. They're just low block. Got to play it against it. Is Kakare. He's got that good left foot. You know, he is right footed. Sit down, but he's got that left foot. No one wanted to put a foot in. That was always going in. Five star weak foot. Both feet. He is right footed. He is left footed. And back of the net. That is 1 0 Palace. Right, here's a second and counter-attack 16 minutes in. Who knows? We might score a ton of goals here. Sanderson on his right, but it was on the volley. He is on side. You know, we'll, we'll just go past that one. It, it was a volley. As a ball out to De La Vega. I want this Sanderson to really just start firing the goals in. We'll cross it. That's a brilliant cross. That is a brilliant cross, that is. One good thing about Sanderson is his movement seems to be very, very good. Here's the counter-attack for... Is that number one? That's number seven. Wow, well done. Great interception. Tanganga. Can we hit them now? Here's Zaha. Big ball over the top to Sanderson. Can he take it down? Oh, damn me. Oh, no. La Vega. As a, he's got good movement, I'm telling you. It's just the living Marada. <laughs> That's what he is. Is a regen, a Marada. Fake shot there on his right. Going to hit one. Oh, there we go. Perhaps he's just going to score 30 plus goals, but just be clumsy. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. He did really well there. It's a great finish on his right foot. Maybe he's just right footed. Maybe the game is lying. Oh, poor head of that. Here's Zaha. I'm just going to hit this. Wind it up. Oh, he's hit the bar. He's hit the bar. Could have been 3 0 before the break. And oh, boy, that would have been a class goal. Well done, Sanderson. Winning the ball back there. And then giving it to them. Oh, they've just gone straight past us there. Good opportunity. Brilliant save, Costa. Massive save. Start of the second half. They start it with a corner. Whoever this is to cross it in. Not a bad corner there. Could have had a header. Oh, we're just giving them the ball now. Handball to us. All right, a brilliant pass there to Nunes. Can Sanderson make a run? He's made something there. He's offside, I'm pretty sure. On his left. He was onside. Again, he's gone for the weird technique. Wasn't far away. Yeah, this guy isn't flopping. He's not flopping. He just can be a bit dodgy. As he's making the run over the top. Here is Eze. Striker's getting in his position. Back post. Just cross it in. Big header. Oh, there we go. That's what you want from your striker. It's 3-0. 65 minutes in. Sanderson with another goal. He's second of the game. I intended to go all the way with Eze. But that touch kind of took him away. Had to kind of put it in the box. Number five was stranded. And boom. That is a finish you want from your number nine. 3-0 Palace. Right, here's Nunes. Oh, yes. Yes, come on. We're going to stat pad with this guy now. He's taking it away. Onto that left, though. Here he is. Going to smash it. We could have... Yeah, that's it gets the goal. It's about to come off for Elise as well. I sure did mess that one up with the heavy touch with uh, with Sanderson. But we get the fourth. Well, this is what happens, guys. When you want me to play the smaller games in the Champions League. We only really play games against big teams. So this is how good we are. Sanderson, what we're going to do? Going to go with that. Ah, it's 5 now. We could score 6 or 7 if we keep this pace up. Another good goal. He gets his goal on the right-hand side. And when I said I like him on the right-hand side, that's the type of goal I imagine. Imagined he would score. It's a good finish. Is Moriba on the ball? Big ball over the top. To Sanderson, nice movement. Here he is. He's got that left foot. He's got the pace. He's got Zaha. He's going to go nope. all the way. That's a big save. Gonna sweat it. It's the striker though. Back post. Sanderson. What's he going to do? 
Big header. And there we go. There's the game. A massive 5 0 win there against Club Rouge. Okay, so we won 5 0. And then we're at this bit. So, so what does this do? So we, what did we lose 3 0? Did we win? Okay, 5 0 win. Hopefully this is counting in the table. I know, I have no idea what's happening. It did. We've got six points. So we're fine. We, we're going to qualify the group. This problem's not a problem. We've got Man United up next. And they did so bad last season. They're doing better this year. They're seventh. Got three wins four draws one loss they find themselves only three points behind us but i'm saying we've got bigger games coming up and we want to get to january quick and because they're really not doing well we're gonna give this one a cheeky quick sim ronaldo on the left rushford up front that is a strange decision decision to make there they've got van der beek back though it's a, okay it's a 3-1 loss that was a decision we should not have made sancho and ronaldo with a brace i should have played that we've got evident now the ninth in the league away from home and it's a 2-1 win sanderson with a brace there we go surely he's scored around eight goals now he has scored nine is our top goal scorer now okay he's really getting into it no assists so he seemed to can't pass the ball in 13 nine goals he's doing very well got club bruge again in the champions league elise has come to me and said i need to be playing more and he is right we're gonna play this uh Krujai. i have no idea how to say his name i know someone let me know in the comments last episode but i did forget we're gonna get anderson playing as well rosier so rotating slightly because we hammered them 5-0 in the last game we played we're at home and it's a 4-0 win my goodness they are bad la vega asensio sanson or uh, sanderson and asensio they are terrible we get a two-all draw to brighton kakure and sanderson scoring again but mope and that other dude scoring for brighton we still find ourselves top four level and points with villa who are fifth still doing well Wow, they have a good side. We are eight points off top of the league, though. 11 games in. We are dropping off. Our very next game after this is Barcelona. The third game we're going to play. So we're going to sim this. We are going to rotate because it's Barcelona. And we want to be doing well against them. They smashed us the first time. Sanderson does have 92 stamina. But Boadu is not really finding many minutes recently. So that is why we're going to rotate him. Anderson's going to play. Santeas and Rosier rotating a lot. But this is 16 Fleet United, and we have to bounce back from the last game. And there we go. A 3-1 win. Sanderson, two goals off the bench, and Zaha. We have officially qualified. Make sure these kits do not clash. We'll play in the third kit. Why not? The third kit is probably my favorite kit one out of uh, the kits this season. I want to start Elise, but Eze has been playing well recently. He has been big. But Sente is on the bench because he's, you know, got experience playing against Barca. So if we bring him on, that can be handy. Massive game. Man, how much better would this game be if it had the new camp in the game? In FIFA 16 with the background, I remember using it in Ultimate Team. I wish this game had the new camp. Here comes Frankie de Jong early on. They absolutely smashed us last so it was a 4-0 loss or something like that. They're going to do it again. They're going to do it again. It's Fatty and Sue Fatty with the goal. This Barca side is absolutely incredible. It was when we had them in career mode. It's an easy finish for Ansu Fatty. We should have been doing better defensively. 1-0 Barca. Here's Ezzy. Can we get straight back in it? A ball out wide to Marco Asensio. Obviously has experience playing against Barcelona. He's going to wind one up for... Oh, wow. That was terrible. Here's Sanderson. He's got that left foot. Slip that out wide for Zaha. Pull that back. Great bit of space. Nunes to hit one. What a save to Stegen. That was a massive save. Going to go to Zaha. He whips it. That was a men go edge of box. Big head of that. Marco Asensio. Back out to Marco Asensio. Here he is. Coming down the right. He's got the pace. Eze, Eze is edge of box. Just going to cross one in, though. Eze, great spot on his left foot. And De Stegen get there. Big header. Eze Sanderson on his left. Going to hit one over the bar. Massive opportunity there for Palace. He could have been doing a whole lot better. Um, no, that was hard. That, that was hard. I could have maybe took a touch. Found Zaha. Got onto his right. Done something a whole lot different. They did say in commentary, though, we are officially qualified from the group. Uh, so we don't have to win this game. Massive save. If we're going to win it, then uh, we've got to thank Costa. Because if if it's 2-0, many would say it's game over. Corner whipped in. Don't be 2-0. It's Marco Asensio on that left. Going to wind one up. Big save to Stegen. Asensio at your box. Nunes on his left. Going to hit one. Sanders handball. There we go. Handball. 
What an opportunity to get an equalizer. Before the break, we have a penalty. It's Zaha to step up to it. I want to put Sanderson on this. We're going to go top left. I mean, he's that Morata type striker. Is he really going to score this? He puts it top left hand corner. Oh boy, he does score it. It's one all at the new camp. Calm and composed. Top corner. It's definitely no Morata. Perfect. No keeper is stopping that. Who do you guys think should be on penalties? I kind of go by who I want to score. So it seems like Zaha has the main man. But let me know in the comments who should take penalties. Oh, wow. Dembele. What What a goal. What a goal. What an assist. And Frankie de Jong. I mean, he gets forward in this Barcelona team. In the first game at Southhurst Park, he scored a couple of goals there or got a goal. And he does the same there. That is a goal and a half, that is. Right, here's Essie. We've got to get back in this. I don't want to be losing twice to Barca. It doesn't really help us with our hopes of uh, doing anything in the knockout rounds, does it? Nunes from range. Just going to hit it. That was a really good effort. Nearly caught the keeper out there. No, oh, here's Brave Goat on the ball. Oh, wow. Oh, no, it's 3-1 Barca. Game over. I think that's Ferrari with the goal. Linked with Barca in 2017. And he's made the move finally here after being linked for about 10 years. And that is a goal and a half. It's 3-1 Barca. I don't think we're getting anything from this now. Oh, that's a tackle. That's a tackle. Little flick there. Asensio. Back to Pedro Porro. Back post. I'm just going to smash this. Pedro Porto, big save keeper. Asensio on that left. Oh, what a big save to Stegen. What a massive save that is. Can we get a second goal? We uh, It's too late for a draw. Tanganga header. Sanderson comes out to Elise. Has your touch. It's good. To wind one up. Oh, Superman save there by to Stegen. Comes out to Big G. Now Elise. There's a gap. There's a gap as well. There's another gap. Another save by Tostega. It's just class. That's it. That's game. A 3-1 Elm to Barcelona. Not what we wanted. Marco Asensio is now 90 rated, by the way. I don't know what his potential is. It's like 86, maybe. Starts off around 81, 82 rated. And we've managed to grow him all the way to 90 rated, which is pretty good. I mean, we've managed to turn his pace around as well. We're going to work on that acceleration. Put a, a wide playmaker. Improve them skill moves, even though I don't know how to to do anything. Manchester City has our very next game, and there's still A points clear from us in the league. Unfortunately, in the next episode, we won't be able to get into the January window because we have European football this year. We've got a whole lot more games to play, so that is next episode, all them games, and then episode 5 of season 3. We will be in the January window. Continue to get your suggestions down below. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, turn the bell on, and the top left of your screen should be a video that YouTube recommends you watch.